Good happy Saturday evening. I'm Riley King and welcome to the Riley King Newscast. Let's get started. First up, Nashua man faces charges in road rage investigation. A Nashua man faces charges in connection with a road rage incident on Route 106 in Belmont. Nashua police investigate possible shooting. Nashua police are investigating a possible shooting that occurred at a house party on Paxton Terrace early Saturday. Hillsboro Balloon Festival and Fair is today. Hot air balloons will be filling the atmosphere above Hillsboro for one final day as a three-day festival comes to an end. One adult, two juveniles arrested after armed robbery in Merrimack. Three people, including two juveniles, were arrested after police responded to an armed robbery in Merrimack Friday. Clinton to campaign at Portsmouth High School on Tuesday. Hillary Clinton will return to New Hampshire for the first time since the state's first-in-the-nation presidential primary on Tuesday for an event at Portsmouth High School, her campaign announced on Saturday afternoon. Humphreys step up fight to depose Trump at GOP convention. With one notable expectation, there appears to be a little apparent among New Hampshire delegates to open the Republican National Convention to consider an alternative to perspective nominee Donald Trump. Dartmouth College professor could face jail time for child pornography. A Dartmouth College professor who one colleague described as a beloved present on the New Hampshire campus could spend years in prison after being caught with an extensive collection of child pornography, some of which he shared on the social media site Tumblr. Merrimack Community Helps Autistic Boy Have Best Day Ever. Last week, Austin Maddles was upset. The 11-year-old Merrimack boy's brother and sister had playdates, but no one showed up to play with him, said Austin's mom, Delilah Maldol. Granite Staters dream about hitting Mega Million Jackpot. After rolling over nearly three dozen times, the estimated 540 million Mega Million Prize is the seventh highest in U.S. lottery history. Man charged in connection to massive Goffstown fire. Police have arrested a suspect in connection with a massive fire that burned in Goffstown back in February. Londonderry police investigate after blood found in mall parking lot. The Crossroads Mall parking lot was turned into a potential major crime scene on Friday as police tried to figure out the source of a pool of blood. Crash knocks out power to parts of Londonderry. Power was knocked out to Londonderry neighborhood late Friday afternoon after a pickup truck hit a telephone pole. Warren Boy hopes to raise thousands to let him see again. A 14-year-old from Warren said a new technology will change his quality of life, 
but it comes at a very high cost. Clinton outlines progressive health care agenda. Hillary Clinton is plunging to follow through on progressive health care policies in a new campaign documentary as Democratic delegates meet in Orlando on the party's platform and she woos Bernie Sanders supporters. Gold has unlimited upside because the Fed is confused on policy trader. Gold just posted its largest weekly winning streak since July 2011. But if investors missed out on the recent rally, fear not. One trader says the commodity has unlimited upside and investors have the Federal Reserve to thank for it. Black reporters arrest during Rochester, New York protests captured on live TV. Let's take a le look at this video from ABC News. To take on any road with intuitive all-wheel drive. The Nissan Rogue, Murano, and Pathfinder. Telling us it's time to go. Um, people are are being taken into custody. Uh, Justin Carter being arrested. Being arrested. Justin. Justin. Um, I'm gonna try. That's my um, coworker, Justin Carter. Sorry. Okay, and there you have a look at the video. Police arrested 74 people, including two African-American reporters, one whom was arrested on live TV during a protest in Rochester, New York, Friday night. Rochester police officers clad in riot gear tied to move Dozens of protesters out of an intersection downtown where the crowd had started gathering around 9.45 p.m. Police began making arrests when demonstrators continued to block the street and refused to move. And that does it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Saturday night. Good night, everyone. Bye.